Hello, in this lesson I will show you how to create additional views for materials using one transaction and in one step. This will actually save you time and especially when you have tens or maybe even hundreds of materials it will allow you to select the views for which you need to enter data. So let's begin by navigating the SAP menu and start with uh, logistics and go to materials management go to material master click on other the transaction we're gonna use for this lesson is uh, MM50 extend materials views so let's go ahead and double click on MM50 the initial screen opens enter the views you want to be extended and the selection criteria will let you restrict the materials to extend so let's go ahead first and enter E or let's click on the search icon for this lesson we're gonna select E for purchasing if you see you have other options as well so let's select E for purchasing and click continue icon uh, you could restrict also the list by entering the date so let's put 01012005 uh, also we can put the plant number 3000 let's add another one for material type so let's go ahead and click on the search icon and select a uh, semi finished product double click on it to confirm now let's go ahead and execute the selections we have just entered The transaction then will display the list of found materials that are relevant for the criteria entered. Okay, now we are going to check the box against uh, a one material or two materials. So we could view them under the purchasing. So let's go ahead and choose power unit and choose, for example, steel wire rope with ear and let's go ahead and click on the maintain material once you have completed your changes under the purchasing view for this material you could go ahead and click on the save and notice that the transaction automatically moves to the next material that has been selected which is steel wire rope with ear this is actually significantly reduces the amount of effort in extending views for a large number of materials. In this lesson, you have actually learned how to create additional views for materials using transaction MM50. And this will bring us to the end of this lesson. So uh, let's go ahead and review some of the questions that came with this lesson and if you have any problem for whatever reason go back and take this lesson again thank you